Hello, my name is Ian Beecher-Jones. Precision farming, where do I start? Precision farming may not be for everyone. It can be seen as a costly business to get into. So care has to be given to where you start. It can, however, show great improvements in farm performance if used correctly. One thing we have to consider right at the start is which aspect of precision farming we are wanting to adopt. Precision farming can be split into three areas which are interlinked, but do require specialist advice and support right at the start. The three areas are tractor and machine optimization, targeting agronomy and data management. Whichever it is, we have to take measurements before any investment is made. The saying, if you don't measure it, you can't management, manage it, is so important. If we look at our tractor and machine optimization first, have you measured the width of your drill, your cultivator, sprayer, to work out exactly how wide they are? It's one exercise that may surprise you. So before any investment is made on guidance and steering equipment, a tape measure should be the first and most cost-effective investment that is made. This process will start to determine your level of accuracy at the moment and whether improvements can or indeed need to be made. The savings can be surprising as figures from HGCA highlight. These figures are only a paper-based example of what could be saved. It is far more effective if you work it out on your farm, having carried out a review of how accurate your tram lines and your equipment width are at the moment. Moving on to the second section, targeting our agronomy. It is equally important to carry out measurements across the field to identify the areas of variation and what is causing them. We have to be able to define and quantify the variation. Are we able to remove or reduce the variation? Then look at that information. How do we apply that knowledge through the appropriate variable rate inputs? We can measure, measure variation through the following techniques. Measuring soil texture, measuring soil nutrition, measuring canopy growth, and measuring actual yield. If we decide to measure soil texture, we can do it manually through our farming knowledge and experience and documenting it on digital maps, or by using an EM38 or conductivity scanner. Once the measurements have been taken, a soil zone map is produced. The agronomic decision has to be made on the seed rate across the field based on soil texture, thousand grain weight, and historical knowledge for a seed rate map to be created and here we have three zones that have been created across our field. If we look at soil nutrition, applying nutrients variably can only be identified if the nutritional status of the soil is, soil is established first. Many measurements can be taken. Again this is for you to identify what you want to test for and your funds available. Samples can be taken by a number of different methods. We have grid sampling where a sample is taken every hectare. We can take samples from a yield map to take samples from high yielding areas or low yielding areas and target points from different parts of the field. Or we can use samples taken from soil texture zones and taking an average from each of these areas. Whichever method is chosen, the results have to be converted into an appropriate format for the fertiliser spreader to work with. Again, if the soil is sampled before a variable rate fertiliser spreader is purchased, the results will indicate if a variable rate spreader is indeed needed at all. If we look at canopy growth, during the growing season, nitrogen can be applied variably based on the health of the crop. The growth can be measured by the green area index of the leaf. The measurements can be either taken, taken by either satellite sensing techniques or tractor mounted sensors. The green area of the crop is measured and an application map is created based on the time of the year, the growth stage of the crop and the agri agronomic issue needing to be addressed. Is the crop too healthy and needs to be held up or is it needing a push to catch up? The tractor mounted sensors provide a similar result to the tractor, the satellite sensors, but does it in real time as the tractor is travelling through the crop. 
It has the ability to raise and lower the rate of fertilizer based on either predetermined algorithms or in-field in algorithms created for each field. Yield maps. Once any remedial action has taken place, you will want to measure whether any of it has worked. This is done by yield mapping. You'll have to be in a position to trust the yield data to ensure that high and low yielding areas of the field are correctly identified and it isn't down to operator settings when harvesting. The aim is to be able to measure the difference in the zones where remedial action has taken place and whether the investment has played, paid off or not. And we have to be careful to ensure that we're not looking at information in too much detail but are working with manageable zones across our field. Data management. Everything that is carried out within precision farming uses data, lots of data, and this is only going to increase in the future. Using precision farming software systems, either managed on the farm computer or in the cloud and managed by third parties, the aim is to be able to look through the layers of data to spot and identify trends in yield related to the remedial action that has taken place. There's two ways of doing this. The data can either be managed on office software using desktop software such as systems on our screen now or they can be managed by cloud-based services. A great deal of time can be taken with data management but it is at the heart of the precision farming business. But does precision farming pay? This can only be identified if measurements of current farming practices are taken and then de a decision taken on the results. The HGCA cost benefit tool can help provide a snapshot of whether precision farming will pay on your farm or not. This can be found at hgca.com forward slash be precise. This video has been brought to you in conjunction with the HGCA Be Precise campaign, Myasca College and Farm Northwest.